I can tell y'all right now that this video is gonna be demonetized and I don't know what else to say. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. You've reached Tracy's recap and reviews, but let's get right on into this review. So we're here with the drama continue. This is season two, episode number three. And the name of the episode is Double Mama Drama. So Roxanne continues because we start at the top where T says to her, Roxanne, what the hell is your problem? Roxanne goes on and on and on. It says that Ashley got on social media running her mouth about Brianna. Roxanne says once T got involved, then she had a problem with that. So T calmly says, Roxanne, Roxanne, you know, because it's her turn to talk, right? Roxanne doesn't give her any way to speak and give her a side. Roxanne yells, you have nothing to say to me. So you're allowed to talk and say your piece, Roxanne, but they're not allowed to say anything. Especially since Ashley and her mom literally sat there patiently, quietly. They did not interrupt you. They let you say your part and you like a little child will not even let them speak. You have your hands over your ears and you don't want to hear what they have to say. And it's not right and it's not fair. T gets mad and screams, I don't give a F. Ashley's up, T's up. Y'all saw that part yesterday. I mean, yesterday. It, it seems like it was just yesterday. Since over here picking up chairs like she's gonna do something. First, I don't give a I don't give a first of all, Roxanne, you have so much mouth, as I've said. Miss Mighty Mouth. And it ain't here she comes to save the day. It's here she comes to ruin your day with her big mouth. You had all that mouth. And you got the nerve, y'all, you want to pick up chairs? You going to throw a chair at them? Weak as hell, just like your freaking daughter. T calls her bitch, and it's on from there. So they're yelling and screaming. You got the, the, the security people, the MTV security people, and you got the other moms trying to hold them back or whatever. Brianna says this all could have been avoided by T simply bowing down to the queen of annoyance, a.k.a. Motor Mouth, a.k.a. Mighty Mouth and saying, you know what, Roxanne? I'm sorry, my daughter shouldn't have been disrespectful to you. Um, Brianna, are you hearing yourself? Cause you sound really stupid. Your mother has been provoking these two ladies the entire time they've been on this trip. And you're sitting there acting like everything y'all are doing is so perfect, oh, so wonderful. And everything they're doing is bad and it's not right. You and your mama provoked them. Y'all came in there with a chip on y'all shoulder and now you're about to get your chip knocked the hell off. That's what y'all are about to get. And by the way, Ashley's a grown ass married woman with a child. If she wanted to apologize to your mother freaking mama, she would have with her own mouth. She doesn't need her mom to apologize for her. And so Brianna goes on to say that, that he could have apologized. No, he got offensive and it blew up. Brianna, your mama wasn't offensive? Are you saying that your mom addressed these two ladies respectfully? Is that what you're saying? You know what, guys? I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I really do not want to have another 30 minute video because Roxanne and Brianna are both getting on my mother freaking nerves. Is this gonna go on for the next? I don't know. I, I know there's like nine. I could have sworn I saw that there's nine episodes in this season. If this is gonna go on for nine episodes, then we could be done reviewing this show from here and just wait until next chapter comes back. I don't know how much more I can take of y'all. Y'all are both insufferable. Seriously insufferable she says i sat there and let her talk and then when it came my time to talk she want to shut me down and don't want to hear what i have to say she says so therefore there's going to be drama and it's going to escalate now so now roxanne is yelling and trust if i didn't need this monetization money i would post so much more clips you're as frail as a cracker they're going to break you in half <laughs> i'm not trying to laugh but they're going to break you in half roxanne and have you with their soup like ashley said you are definitely not ready for no smoke when it comes to them they're going to mop the floor with your face but you keep running your mouth running your mouth and running your mouth girl your mouth is a runaway train runaway love like a train on broken tracks my do y'all remember that song i can tell y'all right now that this video is going to be demonetized and I don't know what else to say. Cheyenne says that she can't stop looking at April. She's going crazy. She's sticking out her tongue. She's sticking up middle fingers. And she's saying to herself, when in hell did April become T's ride or die? 
So I believe it's Tiffany that's telling April, no, no, you know, you need to chill out or whatever. And then April was like, I'm sorry. So Kate says that her mom is acting out and she gets embarrassed when her mom is drunk and doing crazy things. Kate says her mom struggled with alcoholism a lot when she was growing up. She says that this is like one of her anxiety triggers. She's wondering what's gonna pop off. So T repeats herself and she's, she's yelling as well. And she says, I stay out of the kids business, but if any of y'all talk about my daughter, I'm coming for you. So Tiffany, Kaya's mom, says that T saying that she doesn't talk about kids, but that's not true because you talked about mine. Tiffany actually is unlike Roxanne, sitting here listening to what T has to say. And Tiffany basically says, look, I don't like that the, ki that the kids are arguing online. I don't necessarily agree with it, but I'm not gonna get involved with it. She said, instead of you getting online and talking about Kaya and calling her a clown with the other trolls, you could have just picked up the phone and called me you know, to discuss the situation. And then T says to Tiffany, did you see what was going on? So T says that Kaya did a ruthless video about Ashley. T said she did get on there and call Kaya a clown. Tiffany goes on to say that you came to my daughter instead of calling me and talk to, talking about the situation. And T actually says, I received that. Okay, so if you receive it, then, you know, apologize, move on. But also, let me not sit here and then I'm just, I, yes, I'm going to defend Ashley and T against Brianna and Roxanne because they're clearly, Roxanne and Bri Brianna are clearly in the wrong. But T, you're also in the wrong because when you have a situation where your kids are in a mess online, just stay out of it. I know it's hard. I have kids. I want to defend my freaking kids too, believe me. But if they have a mouth, they have hands, they know how to get on there and defend themselves. Y'all act like y'all defending three-year-olds. These are grown women with children. They do not need mommy defending them, all right? So Kaya says to Caitlyn, she's saying that I don't involve myself. Okay, but your mom, your mom spoke on that, Kaya. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Damn. So Kaya says that T is just digging herself in a deeper hole. Kaya says, why is your old ass online talking about people's kids? Kaya, you act like you're two years old. You're three years old. Girl, you're not a kid. You're not a, you're an adult. But like I said, it still wasn't right for her to insert herself in something that didn't have anything to do with her, whether it was her daughter or not. Kaya says the lack of accountability pisses everyone off even more. Kaya's sitting here talking crap about the situation. I didn't even realize Ashley was sitting right in front of her, listening to everything she's saying. I don't know why that looks so vibrant, and I still hate that wig, but anyway. Kaya says she's ready to say what the F she has to say now. She says there's things that need to be said and not just keep being swept under the rug. Kaya says to Ashley, how can you welcome someone with open arms and then when you start feeling some type of way, you run to social media? I don't understand what that has to do with the other. I mean, I read this, I rewound it twice and I just don't understand what the hell. I don't get what where Kaya was coming from that. Like, how do you welcome someone with open arms and then when you... I just, uh, what does the one have to do with the other? So Kaya brings up the same situation that we already talked about when she was sitting with Kate, how um, Ashley got on IG, made a post, and then she, uh, you know, she approached Ashley on it and was like, is this about me? And she was like, no at first. And then she makes a post that says, if the shoe fits. And I appreciate that these young ladies are sitting here talking it out. They're not fighting. They're not yelling at each other. You know, the moms really can learn a lot from their daughters. Kaya, you know, she finishes what she was saying. And then Ashley says, I was just upset because of the way that you didn't call me and contact me, how you just got online. So Ashley says, I saw the live that you did about me. Kate says dealing with people fighting around her is a lot. Kate says that she's just not doing good mentally. And she says, hopefully Kaya and Ashley can work things out. Ashley says that I don't, care much to have an issue and to me kaya there never was one but if there wasn't an issue why did you get online saying the stuff that you said and why did you make an instagram post if there wasn't an issue you no know, y'all need to stop lying like i said we can see the cameras okay we can see the video clips kaya says well i have a problem and ashley says well, just because you have an issue doesn't make it my issue so here we have instigating as brianna with jade talking about uh-oh like something's about to go down over there. And Brianna's saying Kaya's next. 
Roxanne's over there co-signing. Y'all get on my damn nerves. Anyway, so Kaya says to Ashley, you cannot tell me that there's no issue. And Kaya says, you can't say there's no issue, but then you were spitting out all this stuff online, basically. And Ashley says, I just told you why. Let me hear the last part of what she said. And Cheyenne's over there trying to mind her business, okay? <laughs> and Kaya says, if you would just acknowledge that there was an issue, we could move forward. And Kaya said, but don't act like I'm sitting here and the only one with a problem. Guys, I really hope I can get this up at four o'clock, but this is a long episode. It's literally 3.30, as you can see on my time right here. And I still have 30 minutes left in this damn show. Was this freaking show over an hour or something? Damn. Ashley said, I just told you, you know what my issue was. I was hurt because I thought we were friends. So Ashley says that everybody else can say whatever they want on and offline. But the minute she says one thing, it's like she burned a house down. So then you see this shot of all these people, which as you can see who it is, Jamie, Christy, Brianna, Roxanne, and Jade back there. And Roxanne is over here saying that she has problems with everybody. Brianna says, has the audacity to say, by the way, that there's definitely a common denominator. It, I mean, Brianna's really sitting here acting like she's Mother Teresa. And Brianna says that she thinks we're all tired of Ashley's BS or Ashley and T's BS. Um, Brianna, we're tired of you and your mama. So what are you talking about? So I had this really long section of this video to tell you every single little thing, but I said, and like I've done in other videos, I'm not gonna sit here and give you guys word for word. Basically, Kaya and Ashley are going back and forth about this post. Ashley keeps denying that she wrote it about her. Kaya says she doesn't believe her. Kaya says she doesn't take accountability for anything. Both of y'all need to take accountability for the fact that y'all both was talking crap about each other online. Neither one of you were in the right and let's move on. Cause I am really getting sick and tired of this circle it's like a circle jerk. It's ridiculous. So Kaya says that she feels herself literally boiling because the one thing she hates is when people lie to her face. All right. So Cheyenne says that their house is going through way too much stuff right now. And there's a fight over here and there's a fight over there. So now we cut back to Tiffany and T where T is saying, I don't have anything against your daughter. And she said, it's not that serious. And Tiffany said, well, I was pissed at you. So eventually, T apologizes to Kaya, says she didn't have any negative, I mean, she didn't have any bad intentions against her and she's sorry that she hurt her feelings. Kaya doesn't believe her apology. She says F her apology is not genuine. The only reason why she's apologizing is because she's on the hot seat. I really wish Roxanne would be hauled away and sent back home to Florida because I'm getting sick of her. Nope, I am sick of her. So Roxanne is in here saying to Brianna, so sick and tired of the bullying. I see you just suck it up every single time. And then, you know, Roxanne is here telling us that, you know, people think that it's so glamorous to be on a reality show, but everybody has an opinion. So she's still yelling and screaming about Ashley and T. Lady, you're gonna give yourself a heart attack, all right? You're gonna give yourself high blood pressure raging off at the mouth like this. Like you've literally been going on for the past, I don't know how long it's been in the scene, but I'm sure they cut out a lot. Right. Roxanne goes on to say, April needs to put that beer down because I'm not going to tolerate that crap from her either. So Kayla, little old Kayla, poor Kayla, sitting here in the middle of this bull crap. She says that it's frustrating for her sitting in the middle and listening to all this crap because she says Ashley is not really taking accountability for anything. And Kayla says that she's spinning things around to make herself look like the victim goes on to say that Ashley and her have had issues in the past and so she sympathizes with Kaya right now. So now we're back with Tiffany and T and T says, you know, if my daughter does anything, can you please call me first and let me set her straight? So this is the part where T apologizes to Kaya and you know, I mean, did you apologize to Tiffany? But already then. And this is the part where I'm just like, you know what, y'all just want a freaking problem. You complain, Kaya, that they weren't being accountable and they weren't really apologizing or saying at least that they were wrong. Now, T is saying she was wrong and she apologizes and now you're saying you don't believe her, F her apology. So either way, they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. Is that, is that right? They're damned if they do and damned if they don't? Anyway. So Roxanne is at the window with her big mouth and she's like looking out there and she's like here and now the prayer begins and she says that T's a fraud and she's like she's a pastor she has the nerve to be uh, calling herself a pastor come on and so she says you got to be kidding me so Roxanne's over here saying pastor pastor you know mocking me and Cri Christy's over here laughing all right and Roxanne says I'm gonna pray for you I'm gonna pray for you and she says, you need God in your life. Roxanne, 
Roxanne, you and your daughter, you need Jesus, you need the Holy Ghost, you need the you need the Father, you need Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Paul. Okay, don't get me started. So anyway, we're back with Ashley and Kaya, and Ashley says, "Okay, girl, so now what you want to do? I mean, like, what we what are we what are we going to do now? Because to me, this is stupid. Because I know that post wasn't about you. So then all of a sudden, Amber jumps in. She interjects, guys, and she's basically saying to Kaya, like, well, I don't know if she's talking to Kaya or both of them." But it seems like she's directing it mostly to Kaya. And she's like, basically, this drama is like useless. There's no need for it. Why y'all talking about each other online? Amber, shut the hell up, okay? You got your own little drama going on. You got your own situation going on. You need to focus on yourself and all those plane tickets that you're gonna be needing in the future, okay, lady? Stop interjecting where it has nothing to do with you. Ashley was trying to say, as Amber was interjecting, hey, Kaya, do you wanna go talk privately? But Kaya was so focused on what the hell Amber was saying. So Ashley just got up and left. She's like, oh, okay, I'm over this because Ashley was saying that Amber interjecting and, and talking all this crap about, oh, there's no need for this drama, etc., was just escalating the situation. Kaya gets irritated because now she's going back and forth with Amber. And she says, you know what? I need a moment because y'all acting like I'm the only one that has a team mom feud or whatever. And um, she's pretty much over it. So she gets up and she walks off. Kaya goes inside and she's crying. She's pissed off because she says that she's just trying to have a mature conversation, which it was a very mature conversation. Like I said, the, the moms really could learn from these young ladies. They were sitting there. They were talking about the differences. Now, whether, whether Ashley was telling the truth, I honestly don't believe it. I'm sorry. Just come clean and be like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, she's a big girl. It's not like both of them are healthy women. It's not like if they did scrap or get into a fight, like I couldn't tell you who would win because they're both, they both look strong to me. You know what I'm saying? Like they could knock a mother out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what would have been the big deal for Ashley to just say, you know what, Kaya? Sorry, I wasn't telling the truth. I, I didn't like what I did. I re I'm regretful for what I did, but that post was about you and I'm sorry. That is... Was that so hard to say? So Ashley says that Kaya was feeling ganged up on, which she didn't appreciate because she would have preferred to have a private conversation. Right now, it's not really just a one-on-one, -on -one, but it's Ashley and Kaya is in the kitchen and they're talking still. Kaya's saying how this is her mature, like the way, you know, just wanting to talk and hash it out. So now Amber has a problem with Kaya because of the situation, the conversation they had earlier. And Tiffany's going up to Amber like, please don't take it personal. Amber's like, how can I not take it personal? Amber, you should have minded your own business that doesn't pay you because you don't have an outside job other than Team Mom. So she's talking to Tiffany and she says, you know, that wasn't my intention. Later on, she says it wasn't my intention to make Kaya feel that way. She wasn't in the... She was not in the mode to hear what she had to say. Exactly. I wish you would have, I don't know, read that before you even opened your mouth. So Ashley says to Kaya, and right now it's just them. She says, there's two things you can do. You can say, I don't F with you, Ashley, and just not deal with her no more. And then Ashley says she can receive that. And then Ashley was going to say, or you can say, I want to get to know you and something. And then Kate just walks up out the blue to Kaya to give her a hug. Kate, I understand where your heart is and I do like you but get the hell out of here. So Ashley's like, we're having an A and B conversation and here comes C, Caitlin, jumping all up in the mix. And you see what it says. Ashley says, mind your own business. So anyway, Ashley ignores what Kate was saying. Um, Kate looks like she's about to walk off or whatever. And they're not completely alone because I think I see Kayla standing next to Kaya. Ashley says that honestly, that she feels like this issue was something concocted by Kaya. Ashley says, I got beef with people in here and I don't give a crap to squash that beef. And Ashley says, it is uncomfortable when I have beef with somebody who I don't wanna have beef with. All right, so these nosy ladies know, I'm, I'm saying y'all are in a mixed company, so obviously they're gonna be paying attention to what's going on. So Caitlin is outside now with Ashley and them, and um, she's saying that she's gonna let Ashley and Kaya hash it out. Girl, you should have been did that. You saw they were talking when you walked up to give Kaya a hug, like that was not the time, all right? So then Roxanne with her negative ass says, look, they can hash it out today and they'll be right back on social media tomorrow. This show is really, this episode has stressed me to the point of no return. I had to delay my upload time because there's so much drama in this episode with so many different people. So Kaya says moving forward, she has to get out of this opinion that she has of Ashley. So Kaya is willing to drop the beef. She says that it's gonna take her some time to move past it. So they are getting along though. They're starting to say, you know what? We're gonna move past this and move on. And Ashley says, if you see anything online, 
just hit me up immediately and maybe we can avoid another situation like this so kaya says that we just agree to disagree she disbelieves everything that ashley said out of her mouth but kaya says that she'll coexist for the well-being of this trip oh so kaya asks ashley is your mom and roxanne good uh probably not because roxanne is roxanne <laughs> it's funny how ashley's looking directly at us like <laughs> why do it have to be all that because y'all can't fight so nobody's gonna hold roxanne accountable for being an a-hole this entire show Alrighty then roxanne comes out like putting this little poly pocket acting like nothing happened like who was gonna make the cinnamon rolls i wish somebody would roll your behind back to florida that so jay says that fight really went from zero to 100 in a matter of minutes so t says at this point we're just gonna agree to disagree people are allowed to feel how they want to feel but we need to be respectful of one another so now april is approaching roxanne and saying i just want to say i'm sorry for flipping you off april says i didn't realize it was you who did you think it was so roxanne says april trying to apologize was just too much well honestly april is not in her right mind it's obvious that she's drinking and she's drunk right now so we go to the big blowouts and yelling and screaming and about to pick up chairs and throwing stuff at each other to playing a game a group game obviously everybody in the group isn't playing you people are weird and now the moms can have some fun so april comes in and she's like I need the Moscato wine. She's Harry, the producer who's been around for a million years. Well, I don't know how long, but I, I recognize him and know his name without looking it up. So he's been here a while because y'all know I suck with names. He says, enough alcohol for the night. April's like, what am I, 12 years old? Y'all, y'all know y'all have an alcoholic coming into the house. I'm not saying um, don't have no alcohol, but y'all definitely need to lock up the alcohol and don't let her around it. And April tells him he's stupid and says that she wants to go home. So April comes in mad as hell because they took her drink from her and girl, you're looking crazy as hell. Okay. You're looking freaking crazy. And I, I sympathize with people with addictions. I really do. They have to want to get help. You can't force somebody to get help for their illness. They have to want to get help. Oh God, more drama y'all. This is why this took me so long to get up. There's more drama. So April's like, no i want my drink and caitlin's like mom and she's like mom no i want my drink april had a few too many drinks at dinner and jade says that she could tell that kate was upset and uncomfortable because her mom was very pissed off macy says that she's concerned about kate because she knows it takes a major toll on her april's over here yelling everybody else got their drinks and april everybody else is not an alcoholic that doesn't know how to control their liquor so then Amber, Amber, you're just jumping in when nobody asked you, but I, I I guess you needed to say something here though. April is like, they didn't take you, they didn't take away any of y'all's glasses. And Amber said, but that's not your first glass. This is my first glass. I haven't even finished this glass. And this is what April's reaction was. So everybody's laughing. And I feel like the reason why they're laughing is because they're uncomfortable. I really hope that you guys don't think alcoholism is funny because this is sad to me. So Cheyenne says to Caitlyn, she's flipping off the camera and this is Caitlyn's expression. She's so embarrassed and hurt and I feel really bad for Caitlyn. Caitlyn says it's very hard for her not to be angry about her mom's addiction. Kate says it's something that she deals with regularly. Kate says that she can't believe she's acting like this. And Kate says she's having a lot of anxiety and panic. And April's over here snatching drinks from Tiffany and Caitlyn says she doesn't even know what to think. So we have the producers talking to Roxanne. Roxanne, 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 you don't have to put on the red light. Sorry, I know I didn't sing that right because that's not my genre. Now you see what happens when I sing songs that are not in my genre. Alrighty then. So the producers talking to Roxanne and saying, look, we discussed that we didn't want it to get beyond a certain point. And you have to realize, you know, things are not always going to be solved right away. You know that, right? And they're like, yeah, we know this. And the producer says do you think that we can all be in the same vicinity and you know what i'm saying basically not kill each other and roxanne says you know i can't stand ashley and t they're toxic roxanne you're toxic but anyway i'm not singing that because uh yeah you know the rest so anyway roxanne says she's gonna do her best to keep her distance because she wants to have a decent rest of the trip experience amber talks to kaya privately because she um really didn't like how things went down when she was talking to her earlier she kind of wanted to smooth things out with kaya so kaya explains that she struggles with expressing herself respectfully and maturely and you know they are hugging it out and now they're cool again okay they're making cinnamon rolls and i couldn't care less i don't understand why jade is making me laugh so hard in this damn 
um, in this season, okay, of, of this show. But Jay says, after that show, your girl needed a snack. So she decided to make cinnamon rolls. So everybody's in the kitchen now, but Ashley and her mom is in the kitchen. You see Roxanne and Brianna giving themselves these looks. So anyway, Brianna says that her mom and her are in the kitchen enjoying themselves. She says Ashley and her mother pull up behind her mom. Brianna says that it was an awkward situation. Even though it bothers her, she's going to stay in her own lane. But as you can see, Roxanne is still starting trouble. Roxanne is still over here sniggering, sniggering, snickering and giggling at the same time. And I know I didn't make that up because I've heard that before. As usual, perpetuating drama. I'm literally fearful, fearful. I can't even talk. That's how scared I am. I can barely talk. I'm literally, I really literally wish my cat would shut the hell up. Argo, what is your problem? What is your problem? God, I'm sorry, guys. And T says, you keep bumping into me. You can say, excuse me. And then Roxanne has the nerve to say, what are you talking about? And T says, come on, Roxy. And Roxanne says, stop being so dramatic. Roxanne, the correct answer would have been, I'm sorry. You know, excuse me. I didn't mean to bump you. And Roxanne says, she wants to say that I bumped into her. What the F is wrong with that lady? Um, What's wrong with her is that you bumped into her because you was doing it with Ashley and you're doing it to both of them because you don't, you don't see them as worthy of your respect. And that's the reason why you bumped them and don't say, excuse me. You're not slick, Roxanne. And it's on camera. You literally bumped into her. Then Roxanne says, you're in my space. You're invading me. Really, Roxanne? You're ridiculous. He says, Roxy must want to fight because it's about to go down right now and it's about to be over for her. Please, God, do not let me see these two women scrapping. Please, please. As much as I love reality TV and I love, I love reality TV, guys. All right. I do not want to see these ladies fighting. Your kids don't want to see you fighting. Your grandkids don't want to see you fighting. Please, I, I don't want to see this. T says, if you bump me again, I'm going to grab your M and F and S. Listen, Roxanne's been asking for a beat down this entire episode and last. So maybe she's going to get what she's asking for. I mean, I don't know what else to say. You see where I'm from. I'm from Brooklyn. If you bump into somebody on purpose, you're asking to get your ass beat. And Roxanne, I done told you, you are, lady, you are as fragile as a paper doll. I suggest you back yourself down because you really don't want none of that. Because if T would have ever put her hands on you, she's swinging you and throwing you into Brazil. That's where she's throwing you. All right. And your bones are all going to be broke. I can just see you with a pile of bones in the corner. So I need you to relax yourself as much as you annoy me. I don't want to see you dead and I don't want to see you crippled. All right. So all that mouth that you have, Roxanne, I'm going to need you to double it down. Because even here, as y'all saw, Roxanne sitting here talking about she's not going to say sorry. What? There's video. We have proof that you literally walked by her and pushed her and your stank ass can't say sorry. You know what? I, I'm trying to stay calm for this video. I really am. Uh, my, I hope that my microphone is nice and delicious for you all. It's been giving me hell. You guys may not be able to tell, but my microphone has been giving me hell. Okay. So I'm trying not to scream into the mic too hard, but this, this episode really stressed me out. It's just video stressed me out more than when Ryan got behind the wheel high. And Brianna has the nerve to sit here saying that it's not that serious. Come on. And T says, but it is. You're putting your hands on somebody is serious and your mom is touching people and not saying, excuse me, that's pretty damn serious because if somebody brush, if Ashley, think about it. If Ashley brushed past Brianna, Brianna would take that serious. So Brianna says it's not that serious and T says, but it is. And she says, T says, look, out of respect that you're her daughter, you know, I'm not, nothing's gonna happen, whatever, but your mom needs to stop bumping me. And then Roxanne says, no, I didn't. And Roxanne, the cameras say, yes, you did. And Ashley is the one saying that you did. I thought it was T. Ashley said, you did. Can so Is there any way that the MTV producers can actually show Roxanne the footage of herself knocking into her? First of all, Roxanne's playing dumb. We know when we've bumped into someone. We're not stupid. And then Brianna's like, stop it with the crap. And Ashley said, y'all need to stop with the crap. If you want to go toe to toe, we can. Oh, so Miss Big and Bad Brianna with her big bad BBL. She's like, 
we can she's getting on top of the table you definitely take after your mom because that's like the second person in your family who i've seen on top of a table in this franchise he is holding back ashley and brianna's standing up here girl what are you doing with these long nails you really think you're gonna fight with some nails first of all ashley was literally right in front of you i don't understand how y'all want to act big and bad after the person is being held back and they're far away from you it doesn't make any sense ashley was right next to you why you ain't punch her then she was literally right next to you so brianna's on the counter and amber and i think it's jade are trying to get her down from there and brianna's like so i can kick you in your throat and ashley said what you can't fight <laughs> And then Brianna says, F you, F you B word. And Ashley's taunting her saying that she can't fight. And Ashley's saying to Brianna, why don't you come down? Come down, baby. And Ashley says in the confessional that Brianna should have never addressed her mother. Ashley says that Brianna is beneath trash. Ashley says, that's really how I feel about you. And now I'm going to show you that. She spit on me. <laughs> this is so gross for me to have to say but Cheyenne says that Ashley didn't just spit she hopped it out of her mouth I'm not gonna use the word she used y'all know what it is okay so now it's a royal mother freaking team mom rumble I did not realize I was watching WWF yes WWF sorry I'll go way back I don't know nothing about WWE okay but um anyway Roxanne says that T took a bottle and she's swinging it like she's ready to throw it so Brianna is being held by one of the security and she's picking up stuff and throwing it at Ashley. So Ashley says that Brianna throws this big heavy water bottle. Ashley says it was really heavy. It could have hit anybody. Ashley's yelling now and she said, F you, all that crap you was talking about spitting on somebody and I spat on you. So T is hot headed. Somebody must have thrown something on her because her clothes are wet. And Roxanne is saying that T is like a freaking demon. Um, Roxanne, you're a demon. If she's a demon, y'all both in hell together because y'all both not acting the best right now. So instead of fighting with their hands, these freaking punks are throwing stuff. They're Roxanne trying to say she's throwing water on her. She's baptizing teeth, getting, casting all demons out of her. Girl, you need to cast them demons out of you and your daughter first. Kaya cracks me up. Kaya says, this is only day two and these chicks are already trying to kill each other. So Ashley's like, daring them to throw something else saying i'm gonna drag y'all and the producers are i guess about to take somebody outside and brianna's like how ashley addressed her mom and how she's gonna kick her in the face brianna i wish you would you are a freaking punk she was right next to you you ain't do nothing why you ain't do nothing when she was next to you like i said earlier y'all are so whack and so cheesy and so corny and honestly i'm over this god i cannot believe i had to film 40 plus minutes of this crap so Brianna went crazy after Ashley threatened to drag her mother. And she said, if you drag my mother, I'm going to drag you, ho. Brianna, nobody believes that you're going to F her up because frankly, y'all are punks. And that's the only word I can use. I want to use another P word, but I don't use that word on my channel. But y'all get my gist. So Brianna then uses the word that I just referred to, but I didn't say and calls Ashley that. Even though y'all are the ones throwing stuff and y'all are the ones that can't throw hands. So Jade jumps in yelling at T and Jade, Ashley's gonna beat your ass too. So I suggest you back yourself down as well. Jade is like, how old are you? And T says, I'm old, but I still look better than all y'all. <laughs> So the security is putting in that overtime, folks. So Ashley said she, <laughs> she spit on Brianna like the dirty B word she is. So Roxanne's over here apologizing to Brianna. Why are you calling her Brianne? Is that her real name, Brianne? But anyway, um, if you didn't do anything wrong, what are you apologizing for? You started all this, Roxanne. She's saying it's unforgivable what they did. And my thing is, if somebody spits on me, I'm not going to stand there yelling and screaming. I'm jumping in the shower. I don't want someone's disgusting, nasty spit out of their mouth on me. So, so they separated the ladies and Ashley and T, they're outside. All right. They're outside with Macy and Kate. And Kate says that she kind of asked Ashley if she was pregnant because the outfit that she was wearing, she could see a little bump. Kate says she suspects something, but she's not 100% sure. So all the girls that are obviously on Roxanne and Brianna's side, which is very sickening because they're just as wrong, if not wronger, actually they're wronger, more wrong, sorry. Well, anyway, Cheyenne's sitting here and saying, there's just no me doing activities with somebody that spit on me. So Kate said earlier that she was gonna tell the girls that she was pregnant, but first of all, you didn't have confirmation and you didn't have permission to share her business, Kate. 
Jade says that she hears Kate in the kitchen say that Ashley might be pregnant. I'm not sure why Jade's reaction to that was what the F. So then Jade goes to Brianna and tells Brianna that Ashley might be pregnant. Why are you telling Brianna? Why is it any of y'all's business? And Brianna's like, does her mother even know about it? Um, she's grown. Who the hell cares? She's married. Again, who the hell cares? And here they go starting trouble again. So Brianna turns to her mother and says, Ashley's pregnant or she says she may be pregnant. Roxanne, all up in everybody's business, but yeah, you talk about Ashley and T being in everybody's business, but you're up in Ashley's uterus now. Anyway, Roxanne says, that's just reckless and responsible. Girl, mind your business. I so now everybody is gossiping, saying that Ashley's pregnant, and Jamie's saying she doesn't understand how she put her baby in danger with all the stuff that went on. So Kaya says Roxanne shouted out that Ashley's pregnant. And she's like, damn, Roxanne, you just putting her business all out there, huh? So Ashley said whenever she sees Brianna, she's cracked on sight. Okay, she's going to crack on sight. So the producers come out and say, this is a serious situation. We need to talk to both parties. We need you guys to just relax over here. And then the producer says they'll decide on the next steps. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm not even going to say it's late. I did post it on Thursday. So from now on, I'm not even going to put a time on this particular video. It'll just be I'm posting videos on Thursdays for Team Mom because I never know how long it's going to take. It really depends on the episode. I've never had an episode be so dramatic in my entire time doing recaps. I think this video is the longest video I've ever done. Brianna says she wanted this to be a good experience for her mother and she thinks that she was mature enough not to let everything escalate. You, was she not just standing on the top of the table talking about she was gonna kick Ashley in her throat? What the hell is she talking about? Well, she gave you a compliment, Brianna. Ashley said you have some beautiful kids, but you're dirty. <laughs> so Larry comes up to T and Ashley outside and says, we're not gonna choose who's wrong or right because um, honestly, they both were in the wrong. So they're gonna be sending T and Ashley to a hotel. You know, the way they do on Bad Girls Club, yeah. And Ashley says, bring them. They're the ones that started it. And Larry says, it's not about who started it. And Ashley says, yes, the F it is. I see what it is, Larry. And this is what it is. Brianna's trying to claim that she's being calm because she doesn't want to be sent home and she wants to enjoy the experience. So Ashley, I'm on your side, girl. Ashley says, review the tapes to see who started it because Roxanne got physical first. And yes, she absolutely did. Roxanne is the one that started all this mess. So Ashley says, Roxanne and Brianna started it. You can't be mad that I'm finishing it. So Larry said, tapes will be reviewed and reviewed, but you spit on another female. And Ashley said, well, she threatened to kick me in my face. And Larry said, I know she threatened to kick you, but you actually spat on her. Guys, I'm really in overload with this drama today. I'm sorry, guys, if I don't seem as animated because I'm mother freaking tired. You guys don't even know how many hours I've been sitting here doing this review, okay? And please, for the love of God, I'm writing out my reviews from now on because I didn't write out this one fully. And this took me many hours and that's all I'm going to say. Larry says, respectfully, I'm going to send you guys to a hotel for your safety. And he is like, Larry, are you effing kidding me for my safety? So Tiffany says, at this moment, we're all in agreement that they need to be separated from the group. Well, honestly, Brianna and Roxanne should have had to go to the hotel because they both were in the wrong, but Roxanne started it. So, I mean, they really, they're really cursing Larry out. It's not Larry's fault. He's just a messenger. All right. But Ashley's like, and y'all mad that I spit on that B? She says... Brianna should be happy I spat on her. That's the holiest thing that she'll ever experience. Poor Larry. He's over it all. <laughs> He's so over it. <laughs> Ashley's, I'm sorry. This is very comical to me at the last couple of minutes of the show. Ashley says that she just baptized her. And then Ashley says, because she's dirty and she's disgusting. And Ashley says, I'm gonna tell you right now, anytime a B word comes from my mother, she's gonna get spit on. So Ashley says to Larry, take me wherever you're gonna take me, but I want you to know this is not over. Roxanne's in there running her mouth, talking about she didn't observe anything that the therapist said about hitting below the belt. So Jade basically says, Ashley learned nothing from last year. Jade says that she's the same vindictive, nasty individual that she's always been. So they hear outside the window that they have to go. And Jade's over here laughing because it's just, oh, so funny. You know what? Y'all are so annoying. I hate this gang mentality in this freaking group. Brianna says she's done with Ashley, but girl, Ashley is not hardly done with you. Okay, she's only just begun. And that is not my genre. Thank you very much. And 
T's walking away to the car to take them to the hotel and she's saying every time she sees her, she's gonna bully her ass. So Ashley says she's over Brianna and she's over Roxanne, but not really, girl. She said there will be no reconciliation with those hoes. Thank you very much, Larry, because that's not fair. So Larry comes in and talks to the ladies and says, you know what? I was in here laughing, ha ha, he he he. And that's me, not Larry saying, because y'all was laughing. Ashley and her mom have to go to a hotel. Guess what? Larry said, Roxanne and Rihanna, you also need to be removed from the group. Larry says, y'all need to be removed from the group so that they can evaluate on how they can move forward. Cheyenne says that everything that went down tonight was so wrong in so many different ways. Cheyenne says that she thinks anything that goes physical, you have to be removed from the situation. Spitting on someone is upsetting. The moms are triggered. The grandmas are triggered. She says that she's not sure how they're going to come back from this. Ashley says she doesn't know who feels what right now and she really doesn't give an F. And T says, we're going to have a conversation, Roxanne, because you will not continue to be a bully to me and nobody else. And as they're driving away to the hotel, they're riding away to the hotel, you hear Ashley say, F you and your ugly ass mama. <laughs> Good God. Oh God, this is never going to end. Ashley says it's not over for her. And B word, I dare you to do something. Anyway, guys, I'm finally at the end. I actually took so long to post this video because when I posted it originally, I had so many clips that it was blocked in the United States. And I had to literally go back into this long freaking video, take out all the clips that I had added just so that it could be posted for you guys to be able to see it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys understand. It took me literally over a lot of hours. I don't even want to say how many because this is embarrassing. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your views and I appreciate you coming to this channel. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.